we have two cameras. Here's their sales prices. Um, part A says this top camera is marked up by $69.50. So what is the cost? What's the percent markup? So they're selling it for $12.99. That means the markup, I mean, actually the cost is the price of the camera. But if we take out the markup, that brings us back down to the cost. Right, so if you're you know, running a convenience store, it costs you 50 cents to buy a, can a piece of candy, you sell it for a dollar, then you get 50 cents markup, right? And to find out how much it costs originally, you take out the markup, you take the selling price and subtract it by the 50 cents. So this is, the, this is how much they're selling it for. If they marked it up by $69.50, then subtracting those two gives us our cost. And I think that's what's here, $60.49. Okay, and the percent markup based on cost. When we calculate a percent, you take the amount that you're talking about. In this case, the amount that they're talking about is markup. So we got $60.49 for markup that we just calculated. You divide by the base, which is like the starting amount. Which is, this thing started at a cost of, what did they say? Oh. Oops, sorry, I have, that, I have that backwards. The markup was $69.50, so this goes up top. That's the markup. I was reading the wrong number. And then the cost was what we just calculated, $60.49, and then we multiply by 100. All right? It's the same way we do all percentages in the course. You take the amount you're interested in, in this case the markup, they tell us it was marked up by $69.50, and then you divide that by the starting amount. It started at a cost of $60.49. And so if you do that with your calculator, you'll get 114.9%. And part B is just the same thing. Okay, so I'll leave this so I don't, uh, actually it'll be a different answer next time, but it's just gonna be the same thing. The cost is going to be the sales price this thing started at $199.99 and then you subtract the markup out of it and you'll be left with the cost. Okay, so that's what they did to get this. And then the percent markup based on cost, they want to calculate a percent for markup. So we take the markup amount, which was, um, oh actually this one's different, sorry. Uh, this one doesn't tell us markup, this one tells us cost, so this won't be calculated the same way. Um, this question says it cost them $79 for the cyber shooter, and the sales price is $199. So that means the markup is going to be the difference between how much they're selling it for and how much it costs them, because the markup is how much money they added to the price of the item in the first place. The price of the item they're telling us is $79. Okay, so if you subtract those two, that makes 120. So that's the markup. And then they want a percent markup based on cost. So the markup is $120.99. The cost, they tell us it started at $79. And then we always multiply by 100 and we calculate a percent. And then the last question in this problem says, which camera, it's not off screen here, it's down here, but it says, which camera is more profitable to the store and why? The camera that's going to be the most profitable is the one that has the higher percentage markup because they're making more, uh, they're making more money in profit based on every dollar for each of these items. So you'd want to sell more cyber shooters because your percent markup is higher. You're making more money based on cost. Okay, and then the other question for the quiz. Oh, I had it here. Sorry. Sale for $53.49. And they told us they marked it down by 24%. So what was the original price? We don't know what the original price was. But if we subtract it by the markdown, that should equal the sale price. Right? You take an original price and they say, hey, we're knocking 25 bucks off it. You make that subtraction happen, then you should have your sales price. So we can plug some information in here. We don't know what the original price is, so let's call that X. 
and then the markdown amount is, it's, they're saying it's 24% of the original price. So that's 0 0.24 times x, right? Because that's how you calculate 24% of a number. And that equals the sales price, $53.49. So if you got 1x subtracted by 0.24x, it's 0.76x. That equals $53.49. So to finish getting x by itself, you got to divide... 0 0.76 from both sides. So x is going to be whatever this result is. So $70.38 was the nearest price to, uh, was the original price to the nearest cent. $70.38.